for 10 years. It's perfect. Singing, yes. But when you speak it, you speak it a little funny. And down there, you got to speak perfectly or the press will eat you up and spit you out alive. I've seen them do it. Oh, Overreacting is usual. Yeah, the music will speak for itself, Dad. Listen, being Mexican-American is tough. Anglos jump all over you if you don't speak English perfectly. Mexicans jump all over you if you don't speak Spanish perfectly. We've got to be twice as perfect as anybody else. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why, what's so funny? Nothing. I'm serious. Nothing. Our family serious, has man. been here for centuries, and yet they treat us as if we just swam across the Rio Grande. I mean, we got to know about John <clears throat> Wayne and Pedro Infante. We got to know about Frank Sinatra and Agustin Lara. We got to know about Oprah and Christina. Anglo food is too bland, and yet when we go to Mexico, we get the runs. Now, that to me is embarrassing. Oh, Dad! Japanese Americans, Italian Americans, German Americans, their homeland is on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> Ours is right next door, right over there. And we got to prove to the Mexicans how Mexican we are, and we got to prove to the Americans how American we are. We got to be more Mexican than the Mexicans and more American than the Americans, both at the same time. It's exhausting. Man. Nobody knows how tough it is to be a Mexican-American. Well, Dad, you know, it's a good thing we have frijoles and tortillas to keep oh, yeah. our strength up for the job. Now you're making me No, I'm not. A menudo. Hey, menudo. Mm, hey. menudo. <laughs> now you're making me hungry. <laughs> Come on, Dad. I can do it. I know I can. Really. Trust us. Listen, guys. Let's get through with the tour in California and then we'll die.